Good evening. So just want to talk about eating out, social events and the question I get about feeling guilty. There's not the best time to start because I've got a social event, a birthday, Christmas, holiday. You know, we always say I'll start after this, I'll start after that. Now, what I want to stress about this is by saying that, technically you are saying that the thing that I'm going to start will not suit my lifestyle because you're saying that it will have to be the perfect time when I've got no social events. It will have to be, which I would argue, just a little caveat, isn't the perfect time because it kind of means that you have nothing on, which might not then make you happy. Because what I want to touch on is the psychosocial aspect here of eating out, maybe having a drink. So for example, um, went to a wedding and had gin and tonics, made a lot of cheese. Um, yeah, had a good time. Now, you could argue, but gin and tonics aren't healthy. Cheese, too much, might not be healthy. But what I would say is consider that if the thing you're doing actually gives you more benefit in terms of the social aspect, in terms of your choosing to enjoy yourself at that moment, it probably outweighs the detriment to your health, potentially, of anything that alcohol would do. So if the worry of going, I can't eat that because, you know, that's high in fat. I can't drink because I'm on a diet. I would honestly say that that's probably more detrimental than doing the thing itself. Providing you, you decide the social events that you're going to go and enjoy. You decide the ones that maybe you will make compromises at. Remember, this is a game of balance. And I just want to stress the idea that, you know, no food should be off, off the cards. You shouldn't have to stop eating out. You might just have to make choices... Sure, you might have to remind yourself that there's a difference between being full up and having enough. Little tweaks about being self-aware about the decisions you make almost subconsciously. And whether you're making a choice that is your decision to make you happy or you're saying yes to something based on fitting in, thinking that you should do it to be polite. Yeah, food for thought on there. Remember, enjoy yourself, eat your protein, and don't stress if you have one bad meal, one bad day, whatever you want to call it. It's the balance that counts. Your body doesn't discriminate against, you know, one meal. Calories in, calories out is the king. So you can balance that over a day, a week. You know, something I tell um, the ladies on our program is about the 200 calorie rule. So if you're eating out a weekend, well, and you're, you know, you're going to enjoy yourself a bit. Monday to Friday, can you make a small little swap each day? You know, it could be that it could be like instead of having my latte on a Monday, I'm going to have an Americano on Tuesday. Um, instead of having a sandwich at lunchtime, I'm going to have a salad. Just do that throughout the week. You equate 200 calories each day. And all of a sudden, quick maths, you've got a thousand calories on the Saturday. So, for example, this weekend, um, curry Friday night for me, wedding Saturday night. Sunday, quite chilled. Monday, Italian. Eating out all those times, so I have to make a decision. One, I'm going to go out and enjoy myself. Two, I'm going to go out and I'm going to accept that these may slow my progress, but rather than beat myself up, just go, right, I'll control what I can next week and I'll get back to it then. Or you can make the decision that you're going to enjoy the Friday one, make a compromise on the Saturday, make a compromise on the Sunday, make a compromise throughout the week. It is a game of choices. And the choice should always be the one that makes you the happiest deep down. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Have a lovely day and speak soon.